What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony with the Rest Talk Garage. It's garage talk time and we are going to try something a little different today. We're going to be diving into the comments. So let's get this thing started. First and foremost, you can see I am set up here in the garage. I've got my uh, podcast mic and I've got my laptop set up here. So this is one of the new configurations I've been talking about as far as trying something different. We'll see how the audio and everything comes out. Hopefully it comes out well as I'd like to do it this style so I can give you more uh, direct feed on what I'm talking about and why I'm talking about it. So let me dive into my channel here on YouTube and we're gonna talk through some of the comments. Let's see, we go down to my community tab. Move this stuff back. All right, let me go through some of the some of the comments. So first, uh, I'll just read one of the random ones. Uh, one of them that I got a lot of different comments. In fact, I deleted some of them. Was the earthquake video I put out? So here in Alaska, we had the 7.0 earthquake. I threw together that video, the huge earthquake, talking about it and what it meant to us and what had happened. So one of the comments is, in comparison to the 9.2 and 64, this was nothing. And then there was a couple other comments that that guy made about me personally and about a, a bunch of other things. Doesn't make any sense at all. The 7.0, to be clear, cost people, uh, the state, small businesses, big businesses, millions and millions of dollars. People went without their homes, still are without their homes. Um, in fact, where I work full time, I personally have an employee that lost their home. So it's nothing is a joke. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go into some car comments. Uh, one on the bull bar that I did, the Tiger bull bar that I did on the uh, F-150. Looks good. I don't like eliminating the, eliminating the tow hooks. I wrote, I agree. I like the tow hooks as well. So a common thing with trucks, if you guys don't know, uh, for bull bars, I've had Westons on almost every truck I've had. I've had uh, NFAB, I've had now Tiger, and a lot of other ones. Obviously, I don't have one on the Ram Rebel simply because they don't make one for it. At least I haven't been able to find one. If you know about one, drop a comment below. But more often than not, you always lose those tow hooks uh, simply because it's a prefabricated mounting spot on the truck. It makes sense, I guess, from a parts manufacturing point to uh, throw those throw those out and then obviously you get your uh, your bull bar your push bar light bar whatever it is you call it let's keep going uh, let's keep going more about the uh, earthquake let's see if uh, a lot of questions about the ZL1 side skirts is it ACS, is it C7 carbon on the Camaro? Those are C7 carbon side skirts that I purchased, paid full cash for, there was no deal, no nothing, back when 6LE Designs was a company. Uh, although, uh, I bought it through 6LE Designs and it was essentially drop shipped via C7 carbon. So it wasn't handled or distributed through C, uh, through 6LE Designs. I also purchased the front splitter uh, no agreements, no nothing, cash from C7 Carbon. And we do have a new video coming out soon with the ZL1 1LE C7 Carbon splitter for our 6 Gen Camaro. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Um, a lot of questions I did get on the C7 Carbon ZL1 uh, 1LE spoiler is what's the stock height? Now, what it comes with, <coughs> excuse me, what it comes with. It's obviously the shorter of the two heights, you can get the height extender. I believe that's more or less the OEM height to where this one does sit fairly low. It's more, I guess, at the same height as the regular ZL1 or just a hair taller than the stock spoiler, the one that I had on the, the car originally. Um, well, a big controversial one, and we'll do. I'll do a full video on it, and that is all the comments and so forth and so on on my bitter end video about 6LE Designs. I'm going to talk I'll end this video with a comment that I just got about a recent video I posted about 6LE Designs. A lot of uh, just good stories as far as sharing 
uh, with the community and at least with me and everybody else about what 6LE designs, uh, what you experienced and all, all of that situation. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that are just uh, on one side or the other side. The fact of the matter with 6LE designs and Mark himself was, A, he lied to a lot of people. Fact. I mean, he misled a lot of people. Fact. I mean, the guy was essentially selling stuff that he didn't have or what wasn't producing or whatever it may be. Those are all facts. Uh, the fact of the matter also is he ripped off people, took their money and didn't give them back their products. So that's the fact. The guy appears to be a nice guy, but uh, what's the saying? The, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. Well, in this case, he ripped off a lot of people and lied about it and continues to, to this day. We'll go into more of that later. I don't wanna talk about any of that stuff. Um, let me keep going. Uh, some questions on that. Uh, C7, or excuse me, not C7 carbon. Um, I did the carbon fiber GM dash overlay or dash pad overlay. And you, one of the comments is the leather looks a lot better than the carbon fiber. I personally like the carbon fiber. I'm going for, I'm going to try to uh, get a couple of other just small carbon fiber accents through the car not i don't want to overdo it i just like the look of the carbon fiber um so you'll see more of that coming soon i'm actually going to order a couple of parts and pieces from camaro swag uh i don't have a deal or anything with them but they make a couple of just small pieces that i would be interested in integrating into the interior of our sixth gen um let's see there's a lot on the bitter n one so um, another good one was uh, Michael Everett, who uh, is a, a fairly normal commenter on here. I appreciate you commenting, Michael. Uh, is always very positive. Uh, excellent detailed instruction. I like a uh, point out to watch out for uh, saving on other install mistakes. Really like the before and after, and then he thanks me for the video. I'm trying to continue to do that and trying to get better at it. I know that there's some of the install videos where I drag on and on, but one thing to note and remember when I do install videos, uh, regardless of what it is, most of the time those are live videos. I didn't take the stuff out. I didn't, I didn't pre-plan any of it. So in a lot of cases, what you guys are seeing is essentially my real reactions, my real, uh, taking it out of the box, my real trying to align it. Not everything fits uh, OEM. It doesn't just unbolt and bolt right up. If you've bought parts for your car, truck, motorcycle, whatever it is, you already know that. But uh, to see it on video and to try to uh, make it as smooth as possible is what I'm trying to get better at. So I'm going to continue doing that. But thank you for the very nice comment. Talking about uh, comments, there's a lot of... Uh, through time anyways, I've gotten a lot of kind of BS comments where people are just talking trash or just saying nasty shit. You know, keep that to yourself. If you're having a bad day or whatever, your 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 dog died or whatever it is, man. I mean, get a hold of yourself. I mean, seriously. No one's fortunate. You don't have to watch this channel. You don't have to watch anything you don't want to watch. Welcome to the internet. Um but damn, keep your negative, nasty ass comments to yourself. I think it's uh, one of those things where it's like people are just ridiculous. Uh, Brandon on here talks about his uh, situation that he had with 6LE Designs. Um, I've been in correspondence with Brandon um, outside of YouTube numerous times. I'm gonna do a video as he's getting his car finally corrected, but I wanna go through what he had to go through and explain some of that stuff, so. Um, Another one, let me go back to some other ones, uh, asking if the uh, side skirts on the uh, Camaro are carbon fiber. No, they're not, they're the glass black. All of the parts I got from C7 Carbon are gloss black. To include the parts I got from ACS Composite, I'm doing the gloss black off of the mosaic black, which is the color of the car. Um, let's see. So many, there's just so many comments on that. Uh, let's see, Alex writes, thank you for your channel. I've been watching for a couple of weeks. I have a six gen SS. Enjoy watching the insoles, not only because I know exactly how it'll turn out, but I appreciate your positive mental attitude and love for your country. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Alex, that's very nice. Uh, RC Bash in the Creighton 
wrote, uh, looks sweet. Good job, bro. Thank you, RC Bashing. I do appreciate all the positive comments as I try to stay as positive as possible with this stuff. Um, and I'm going to continue that momentum going forward. We've got a lot of really cool things planned here at the Rinsed Out Garage. I'm going to try to wrap this video up as I'm looking at the timer and we're over 10 minutes. But let me get through a couple more comments before I do that. Andre writes, thank you for the video. Just got mine. He's talking about his side skirts. I was wondering how they're holding up. I write back. They're holding up fantastic. Fitment is incredible on those parts. Um, let's keep going. Dan H. writes, that poor car. The wing makes it look ridiculous. He's referring to the ZL11LE spoiler that I put on it. To each their own, man. Um, that goes with cars, clothes, everything you have. You know, not everybody's going to be a fan of what it is I'm doing or they're doing. It doesn't matter if I'm building a, a $10 car or a million dollar car. There's always going to be a critic that doesn't like it. And that's okay. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Plenty of spoilers out there for you, sir. Um,. Again, I got a bunch of other ones. You know, Spaceman writes, SS Camaro, super cool. I want one too. Um, who also, or not, that was Spaceman24. SS Camaro replies, I bought mine. The short version looks great. He's talking about the spoiler once again. Let me go down to try to find some other ones. Uh, Dragon's Yell one. So here, here's one that uh, uh, didn't upset me at all. And I think I mentioned this about getting help and, and talking with you guys on it so dragon zl1 a couple months ago wrote on uh, my fall camaro upgrades video like your content but i find it hard to watch as you move around too much and it's very choppy when you show a part or what you're working on stay focused on it so we can see it most of the time the uh, pan is too fast and we can't see look forward to your installs but i appreciate that comment the guy wasn't a dick he wasn't douchey about it just giving me some some I'm not going to say constructive criticism, just saying, hey, man, this is this is what I'm seeing. I appreciate that. I can't say that enough because um, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know, it started off one way and we're going to continue building this thing together. Um, so please feel free to give the feedback as long as it's not BS. Um, let's see. RC Bashin, I showed on the out for a ride where I was driving the uh, V-Rod. Right, it's a different perspective on the bike. Talks a little bit about that. Um, paradise to paradise. The V-Rod is sounding good, man. I wish my garage uh, looks like that. My garage is still going through a lot of different uh, small upgrades. I've got a lot of cool stuff planned for the garage as well, so you guys are going to want to stay tuned. I think uh, this is my first comments video. I've got a lot, of, a lot more comments we can run through, but today I've got one last comment I want to end this on, um, I guess, to push through the point on what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So I just got this comment and it's from uh, Adrian Martinez saying, I'm currently in contact with Mark from, and he has shown me a lot of the problems they have had. Oh, sorry. I didn't, uh, wrong, wrong comment. Let me go back uh, from Claudia. I, I see you keep complaining about 6LE designs. Do you not know Mark has posted all over the internet uh, if there's anyone that was missed after he had shut down to email him and he'll take care of you? Have you done this? Or are you just using this or using his bad misfor or his bad fortune for more views? Here's one of like 10 places he posted. Yeah, I'm fully aware. I got the email from Mark. I got the email from Mag Performance and I got the email from a dozen uh, guys that follow me here, I am fully aware. Uh, but so are all those guys that commented. Check out the Bitter Ends video. Read those comments. Uh, go onto the go onto the forum and read everybody else's comments on this. Yeah, he's posted that everywhere. But then he goes onto that Hoonigan video and says, "Yeah, I, I got a bunch of lawsuits with Six LE Designs, but I uh, just went over to and we started up iRock Motorsports. That's." To me, that's horrible taste. And, and personally, um, we'll go into the, the roof deal because uh, Brandon sent us some information on that as well. Um, so forth and uh, so on. Oh, hold on. I'm reading another. Um, so forth and so on. But overall, 
it's just one of those deals to where it's not just about the money at this point. The guy lied and lied and lied and lied. And I see a lot of people are trying to say he got cheated and all. That's fine. You know, if it was just that and he was up front with people and he wasn't lying. I mean, I've got some detailed emails where I'm just asking toward the end where it's like, dude, you flat out ripped me off. Can you please contact my bank because my bank might work with us. I just spent two hours on the phone with them. Um, and they said, if you wrote this and wrote that, um, I'll go into that stuff later. I, I actually am getting really tired of even talking about this stuff. It's like, stop standing up for the guy. If he wants to stand up for himself, pay everybody back. Um, and then cut the crap, you know, stop all the lying. Don't there, there's a lot of these, uh, guys standing up for him, which is fine, you know, to each their own. Let's end on that note. Hey, so I've got a bunch of these comments here on, uh, the Rental Garage. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up because uh, I feel like we can make multiple videos. In fact, I might do that. Now, this setup that you see right here, hopefully this sounds good, looks good. I'm going to move the camera around a little bit, but I am going to probably move this over to the news so I can actually pull some information directly from uh, from the uh, computer as I do it. It'll make it a little easier on me. And then, of course, I've got this mic, which I hope sounds better as well. This is one long-ass video, so I apologize. Hopefully, you guys make it through it. It's our first comments. The next one, we'll, we'll just uh, make it a uh, 10 minutes or whatever. Doesn't matter. What does matter is thank you guys for checking it out. Thank you for the comments. I really do appreciate it. I read and try to get back to the ones I can. Some of them, um, I don't reply back just because it's almost it's uh, it's difficult to uh, respond more or less. So outside of that, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you guys are out riding or driving, do it safely. And we'll see you guys in the next video.